This video is going to show you how to produce a photo portrait edit inspired by the work of Helmo. Two photographers and designers who combine double exposure techniques to create some very unusual surreal like portrait photographs. As you can see from the examples on the screen they not only use people but they always use, also use animals or location urban photographs to create double exposure portraits. So we're going to take these ideas and take this into our own style of edit. So the first thing you need to do for this edit, we're going to actually produce a double exposure edit actually using two different portrait photographs. So we won't be using any animals or urban images, we're just going to use two different portraits. So we're going to be using the shots you've taken from your studio based photo shoot. You can see examples on the screen, this is one I'm going to use and there's another one here, I'm going to combine these two photographs together to make that effect. So I'm going to start with this one first of all. So the first thing you need to do, I'm going to do, is actually, if, if you noticed on the uh, Helmo shots, uh, they have a very kind of black background. So I'm going to change the initial background on this into a black background. I'm going to, first of all, just select uh, the, the, the background, just using the magic wand tool. Okay. So I'm just going to select that. Uh, my tolerance is at 35, because I, I checked that just before I did the edit, just to check that that was actually giving a nice outline there. So you always check your tolerance on your magic wand tool so you get a nice outline there. I'm now going to go to the uh, image, adjustments and exposure tool there. And just using the exposure tool, I'm just going to take that background now down to a, a kind of dark colour there like that and press OK. I'm now going to go to my second image here and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to kind of select the background but I'm going to actually remove the background on this. Now I'm just going to take the tolerance down to 15 on this one and then I just click on my magic wand tool and now it's just giving me my uh, background uh, image there to cut so I'm going to edit and cut and the reason why I want to cut that one is I'm going to use the background on the other one for the black background so I'm going to cut that up now the next thing you'll notice is that on, on the uh, Helmo work you've got these colourful tints Okay, the kind of blue and reds or the purple and green. So we're going to create that effect now on the separate images first of all. So I'm going to go back to this image here now. And what I'm going to do, I'm now going to go to select and inverse. And the reason for that is I want to now just have the figure himself selected. And I'm going to tint this one now in a, in a colour inspired by the work of Helmo. So I'm going to, to where to do this is go to image adjustments again. This time go to black and white. So you can see it's already tinted it black and white. But then if you go to this little colorize box here and click on the black box there, you can then choose a color that you'd like to actually then tint that. You can see for example there. So I'm going to put that as a blue there and just press OK. You can go for any color you like. And then press OK again. I'm now going to go to this image here. I'm going to do the same. Uh, but first of all, I need to, need to select the image because at the moment, just the background is selected. So I'm going to go to Select and Inverse, Image, Adjustments, and uh, Black and White again. Again, go to my Colorize box. And this time, I'm going to go for a red colour. Like Press OK. Press OK. Whilst I've got this uh, person now selected, I can now go to Edit and Copy. And then I can go back to my kind of first image there and paste it as a new layer. Let it paste into there. The final thing to do on this now is to actually merge the layers together in terms of creating that uh, kind of see-through effect, that transparency effect. And the way to do that is on your top layer, your layer one, the one you've just pasted, you go up to opacity here. Opacity means how opaque, solid, or how see-through, transparent, uh, and images. So I'm just going to take the opacity down and again you just use the sliding tool or can, you can add type in a percentage and what you're just trying to do now is just kind of get a nice balance between the two images kind of merging and blending together. So maybe something along those lines. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the colors back a bit because I've had to use a transparency tool the colors have faded slightly. So what I'm just going to do now is just going to go to my layer and I'm going to go to merge down, so just going to merge the two layers together. And then I'm finally going to do, I'm just going to go to image adjustments, and I'm just going to go to vibrance. 
And what this allows me to do is just kind of bring kind of the colors back a little bit, just make take those up a bit, maybe bring the saturation up a bit as well, just to bring a bit more life back to those. And then press OK. And that's given me now uh, an image, an edit, inspired by the work of Helmo. Okay, I'd like to have a go at producing one of these yourself, and I look forward to seeing what you produce. Thanks, everyone.